It was a moment of pandemonium as residents came back for safety uh, when a tanker exploded at the early hours of Thursday morning in Lagos. Plus, TV's Africa correspondent uh, Mary Chinda was at the scene and now reports. <laughs> The tanker explosion, 9.15 a.m. today in Lagos, Nigeria. This vehicle was carrying PMS when its head detached from its body, causing an explosion at a Bakun bridge along the Oshadia Papa Expressway. We were informed about the crash and we mobilized. Fortunately, it was right in front of Oshodi fire uh, station that this incident happened. So the prompt response of the fire saved the day. The major issue there is the impact on the road infrastructures because uh, the, the level of Infano has greatly affected many parts, the median, the pillar to the, uh, on the bridge, and even the, uh, the road itself. So we are trying to uh, control the situation, blocking the traffic, not to allow any vehicle to pass through because of the heat. The remains of the now empty tanker has become a public spectacle as eyewitnesses recount their experiences. The fire was so terrible, you know, it's so terrible. The trail, I don't know when I break now if it, no, no, we can't just stay. There is no life lost here. Now that's according to the FRSC. The Commission of Transport along with the FRSC Blame the accident on reckless driving. Thank God we didn't lose any life. But you can see the damage that's been done. That bridge, we will uh, do an integrity test tomorrow. Okay, because the bridge is quite hot right now. Until we test those drivers that are involved in this, we might not be able to confirm if they are not under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Because it takes a man that is insane to carry a tanker that is loaded with 40,000 liters of fuel and be compet competing on the road for what? It's about 2.20 p.m. Now that's exactly about five hours, five minutes ago since the tanker explosion here, right here at this bridge. Men of the fire service had tried to ensure that they had cooled up the area by wetting the hot floor um, of, of this road with a lot of water so that it would be safe for motorists to begin to ply um, the road to, of course, forestall traffic on the other end of the road. From Lagos, Nigeria, Mary Chinda reporting for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.